Good morning to all of our Heritage Kindergarten friends. Miss Parker's here today with you. I'm so excited that I finally get to read a story to you. So we're gonna start talking about farm animals this week and I have picked a pretty cute story. It's called The Fleas Sneeze. It's pretty cute. There's a bunch of farm animals on there. This story was written by Lynn Downey. So she's the author of the story. She writes the words and it was illustrated by Carla Firehammer. So Carla Firehammer is the illustrator. She draws all of the pictures. So let's read this story, The Flea Sneeze, and see what happens. On a dark, dark night, on an old, old farm, in a rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. Everyone's asleep in that picture. A rat, a cat, a black-eyed bat, a cow, an owl, a feathered fowl, a dog, a hog, an old barn frog. Everyone slept peacefully, but not the flea. So I hear some special words on this page. I hear rat, cat. I hear black-eyed bat. Does that rhyme maybe with rat, cat, bat? I hear cow, owl. Does that kind of rhyme? Yeah, these are rhyming words in this story. So I want you to listen as I continue to read for the rhyming words, okay? No one heard him cough. It's just a little old flea, teeny tiny. Not even the mouse he used for a house or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him sniffle, sniffle. <laughs> He's just a little old flea. Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. That poor little flea, I bet he's tired. No one heard him, his gargled plea. Does anybody have a tissue for me? Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Then suddenly, before he could cover his snoot, ah, The rat who cried boo-hoo and woke the cat who hissed moo. It baffled the bat whose eyes turned blue and confused the cow who uttered moo. It outraged the owl who hollered hoo-hoo and flustered the fowl who crowed cock-a-doo-doo. It daunted the dog who barked woof-woof and sprayed the hog who screamed ew and reminded the frog of his old nephew. There's the owl saying hoo hoo, the dog says woof woof, cock a doodle doo, and ew. So now they're awake, right? But the mouse, the flea used for a house, kindly gave him a tissue. The flea wiped his nose and before his eyes had even closed, he began to doze. What do you think doze means? Can you tell your parents what you think doze means? He wiped his nose and they began to doze. He's sleeping. For all the rest of that dark, dark night on the old, old farm in the rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. 
The flea and the mouse he used for a house, the rat and the cat and the black-eyed bat, the cow, the owl, the feathered fowl, and even the dog and the old barn frog. Everyone slept just like a log, except the hog. What's a hog? Can you see that? What do you think a hog is? It's the pig. No one heard his garbled wheeze. I think I've got a sneeze. So now the pig has to sneeze, right? And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the fleas sneeze written by Lynn Downey. I want you to do a little writing activity now that we've read the beginning or the story. And you're going to A to write about the beginning of the story. So I want you to think back to the very first of my story at the very front, which is the beginning. And I want you to kind of look at this page and think about what happened on the very first page. Can you think about that? And then I want you to write a story in your journal about it and draw a picture that matches because every good journal has a picture that matches its sentence. So I hope you enjoyed this story, The Fleece Sneeze. And I can't wait to see all of your writing activities. So don't forget, write about the beginning of the story. And I'll see you soon. I miss you. Bye.